Hey everybody, it's RPG Grandma. Real quick one here. This is part of prepping. So you're going to go through the rules of whatever game you're playing. Especially for role playing. So if you're like, oh my rules need some adjusting. Like where is it falling down? Or if you've not played the game before. Or it's been a long time since you played that game. So in my case, I'm reviewing Frontier Space. And I'm asking myself, does this help? The role playing of the players does it hurt the role playing of the players how are we going to role play this game mechanic so one of the things i'm changing is the destiny point system not much but i'm going to change how it's done for instance the players aren't going to say i use my destiny points i'm going to use my destiny points to make sure this happens etc they're not going to be allowed to do that because that's a game mechanic thing and i'm trying to get them out of using that game mechanic lingo into a more natural uh language that tells me what they want to do without them having to say i'm going to use my destiny points all right so the first thing that happens is they have to say before the roll i got a good feeling about this uh this is this is fate. I feel lucky. Something to that effect for it to be on the positive side. If they want to use their points to be on the negative side, then I have a bad feeling, right? And if the roll uh, comes out um, the way they want, and they didn't need to spend those points, I'm not going to dock them the points. But if the roll doesn't come out the way they want, and they needed to spend those points to get what they wanted um that's what's going to happen and that's a basic change i'm making to uh frontier spaces mechanics so they don't have to say a mechanical term so that's my uh, little rpg tip is when you're reading game mechanics, going through the rules before you've sat down and played, ask yourself how you're going to present the rules in a way that communicates to you and communicates to the players what to do without constantly uh, putting in uh, what I call the binary language, the, the, the computer pro programming language, the language left over from more gaming that we're all used to. It's one of the changes I'm making. I'll talk about other ones too as we get going and where some of those change ideas came from. But um, that's definitely one. Because I was like, this this is so not intuitive. It's definitely dice intuitive, but it's not how people function. They got a gut feeling, they go with it. They're willing to take the risk, you know. They, they, they make comments like that. I've got to risk it because... This is my fate, my destiny, I feel lucky, you know, all those kind of things. Now, they only have so many destiny points in the game. The other thing is, um, I'm probably going to change the name of that term because development points and destiny points have the same abbreviation. And I know players will be using DP um, when they write that stuff down in their books. So I'm going to have to change it to like luck points or fate points. Something like that uh, for the abbreviation purposes. Um, you know, because you look up DP in the uh, Frontier Space stuff, you're actually looking up two different things. So um, just putting that out there. Development points, by the way, are the way um, experience points are kind of created and then used. You, they're used uh, to improve abilities. You, you buy your skills, but then you track them under another name that then ranks out your player, so you get reputation points, basically. Is that what they're called? I think so. I got a name like that, so it's an R. So, got so, so you guys understand, I've got, I'm working on making sure the ling linguistics communication purposes between me and the players is very clear even when we are talking like game mechanics like the 
the the after um, you know, afterward stuff when you're uh, awarding people stuff. We, we're all on the same page and things are being reset. Um, and yes, you can lose destiny points permanently. There's a way to do that. Um, but uh, when you do that, usually you're gaining a benefit that replaces it um, and makes it very honed. Um, so the Frontier Space has got some cool mechanics in it, like how they do critical success and critical failure. Um, automatic success, automatic failure. Yeah, they're different things, guys. Um, all that. One, the next thing I'm going to mess with is, and I've already kind of I've posted it over in uh, Discord. What I'm doing uh, with death, where I'm to the direction I'm taking it in the game. Um, but there's other things I, I want to add in. Like um, there's an idea from 4E that I'm going to mechanically uh, tweak for um frontier space yeah yeah granny's granny's got ideas because i like that mechanic and the mechanic has made it into other games that i play it's good for my monsters it's good for the challenges so this is what you do when you gm you start thinking about how to make things exciting how to make things how to adjust the dials and um, I'm, I need to make another video also on uh, examples of role playing in books and where they got it wrong. Even though they had time to edit this stuff and write it, how they got it wrong. And it's probably because nobody thinks about it. We're just, you have generations of people programmed to play role playing games a very certain way. I mean, they never get into. Uh, the really how, how do you role play the mechanics and so the mechanics just appear boof 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 and there is a way to dial those mechanics hide those mechanics everyone's still doing the mechanics dice are still being rolled by everybody but everybody knows what the mechanics are they've been taught them and they've been taught how to role play it we'll get into that uh with uh, how I'm going to handle death in frontier space. So anyway, or the potential to die, let's put it that way. Everybody have a great day. Happy Father's Day. This is going to post today. And um, stay frosty out there in your fantasy sci-fi role-playing games. Have fun. However you define that. All right. I'm, I'm like I said I'm just here to I found this useful I think about these things how I can do it better um, what's worked for me in the past what hasn't uh, and I'm just here to share like it or lump it have a good one bye